Another one. Another one. We the best music. DJ Khaled. I don't know if you could take it. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag. Hope you guys don't mind me in my bonnet. So, yeah, I'm just gonna be rocking it throughout this whole tutorial. You guys, no hair on this time. So, yeah, let's get into it. That's how I'm feeling. You feel me? Wow, thoughts. Okay. You know, you gotta bring back the oldies sometime, you guys. <laughs> but as you guys can see, to start off, my eyebrow, my eyelids are already prepped. Brows are done and we're ready to go. So right here real quick, you guys, I just want to show y'all some quick options um, on how you can get this yellow eye. So I'm just showing you guys some palettes with some yellows in it. And yeah, you guys, there's plenty of options to get this eye done. So what I'm going to be using is this brand new palette that I purchased from Juvia's Place. And this is the Magic Palette with this gold glitter from this set that I got from Amazon, you guys. Amazon always have these really cheap gold glitters that you can buy so you can always just look up glitters on Amazon But yeah, the first color that I'm gonna go into is this kind of like peachy um, Transition color here. This is one of the matte matte shades from the palette now this palette does not have a lot of matte shades but the matte shades that are in there is so stunning and i kind of wanted not the brown because i always do brown i wanted something kind of like peachy so that's what i went for and then i'm just gonna slightly darken up the crease and i think this dark shade that i'm using is from mac um, I forgot what it's called, but I'll definitely link it in the video. But I'm just slightly darkening up my V. And that's how I'm going to leave the eyes for the um, before I start with the yellow. I didn't want nothing too crazy on the eyes. So I just went for something very simple. So that peachy transitional shade and then darken up the crease a little bit. I'm really going to cover that because I don't even want it to be that dark. So... You know, all your girl is always over here blending, blending, blending. This is one of the things that make my makeup takes forever to get done. I spend a lot of time blending my eyeshadows, which is really good. So that is always a recommendation for me for when you guys are adding your eyeshadows. Always blend them. So I'm going to go back into that Magic Palette with that peach, peach shade. And I'm just going to take it on top um, with this blending brush. And I'm dabbing it right on top of the brown, you guys. As you guys can see, the brown is kind of fading into the background underneath that color. And that's exactly what I was going for. I'm not blending it because I don't want the brown to move around. That's why I'm dabbing on top of it. Next thing I'm going to do is go in, um, is um, cover my lid with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. You guys know that this is my favorite shade from this line and I'm just going to take that and just use it to cover my lids. I love this concealer so much because of the applicator. It's just so easy to work with and it's only like $2.99 you guys, like seriously. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my ring finger and I'm just going to basically kind of like blend out the eyeshadow but with the concealer but without moving it. So you can use a brush for that but I decided to use my finger. Then I'm going to use my same finger and pick up that really pretty like goldish yellowish tone shade. It's a shimmer shade from the same palette and I'm just going to use the same finger and dab that right on top of that concealer and that is the reason another reason why these shades pop so much is because I always use a base underneath them so if you guys are using shimmer always use a base because that helps out a lot to get it to show up more pigmented especially um, if you have like skin tone like mine so I know if a person has like really really dark skin tone these shades would like scream on their lids and especially if you have a lighter skin tone it will show up but when you're in the medium section like myself you kind of have to add a base because they sometimes the colors don't show up as much next thing I'm going to do is add this glitter glue from Too Faced and I just dabbed it on my finger and then I'm dabbing it directly on top of that yellow so um, if you guys are going to use glitter you can either use a concealer but I have this glitter glue that I had invested a long time ago I think I paid like $27 for that damn glitter. It's so expensive. But I mean the glue. But you can find other glues that are cheaper. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to use that brush to place the glitter right on my lid. So yeah. 
if you guys have any stippling brush you can use it to dust off your fallout I didn't want to use a wipe to clean off my fallout because I had already moisturized my face and I didn't want to move the moisturizer from that area of my face so I just use a stippling brush the bristles are always kind of more stiff so it's easy to just flick the, the glitter or anything like off your face so I'm gonna leave the eyes for a minute and go to the face and I'm gonna start off by using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primer and I'm just adding that right in my T-zone where my pores tend to appear larger underneath my eyes and my nose and then whatever is left on my hand I'm just gonna distribute it all over my face sometimes I feel like I can get away without priming in the winter time but I always have to secure the t-zone honey because my t-zone can get crazy sometimes next i'm going to add my la girl pro coverage foundation and you guys i'm telling you right now this foundation is slowly replacing my mac foundation like it is absolutely amazing i love it so much and not to worry i'm going to link all the products that i'm using in the video down below so i'll leave my shade down there as well and i'm going to go back into the same um, concealer that I use for my lid on my face. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation um, Concealer. The LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fun. I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like I can't talk tonight. What is going on? It is literally almost like one o'clock in the morning, so that's probably why I'm tired. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge and I have a love-hate relationship with this sponge you guys sometimes like when I first got it I really could not stand the sponge but then I don't know I find myself using it these days and it's it's working in my favor so I guess I'm falling in love with it then I'm just gonna use my Ben Nye banana powder oldie but goodie to bake absolutely love using this powder with um, my drugstore products it just works magic so while I'm baking I'm gonna contour and you guys know that the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in medium to tan is bay so I'm gonna use a darkest shade in that contour palette to kind of like warm up my face and you know add back some definition and I'm gonna do the same thing to my nose to contour my nose with a smaller a smaller brush this is like a shader brush but it's like a fluffy shader brush so I'm just using it there to contour my nose then to set everything into place I'm gonna go ahead and use this Mac actually I had dust off the powder but I guess that clip got deleted I don't know what happened to that clip but you guys know you gotta dust off your setting powder but I'm gonna use um, this um, mineralized skin finish from Mac in the shade dark deepest and that's what I'm using here to set everything into place you guys know this step is vital this step is very important so you guys you always want to make sure that you set everything into place when you do your makeup and <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that I'm taking a little bit of an eating break because I was starving honey and my mom came home and made this beautiful dish that she makes sometime it's literally like spaghetti um, mixed with, um, shoot, I forgot, corned beef and mixed vegetable. That's basically it. And it's an awesome dish. So back to makeup. So for my eyes, I'm going to use, um, the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara just to comb out my lashes and add a little bit of va va voom to my lashes. My lashes are very short, you guys. I do not have long lashes. They're not, they're not like fluffy either. And then I'm going to go in with this Kiss Lash in the style Gala. This is one of my absolute all-time favorite lashes. Like, I love this so much. And I think I'm, like, the only one that uses my hands to put on my lashes. But I don't know. A uh, freaking tweezer is a struggle for me. Like, I, I can't manage a tweezer. It's just too much. I feel like I'm going to poke myself in the eye with a tweezer. So I just struggle to put my lashes on. But, you know after a few tug and push I kind of got them on I don't know I I'm I'm kind of looking for well not kind of I am looking for a really really good lash adhesive so if you guys know any please leave it in the comment down below because this lash glue that I'm using is absolute trash like it never helps my lashes to stay on 
So for my lower lashes, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just tight lining with a black, a regular black eyeliner pencil from the beauty supply store. And then I just use the same um, dark brown underneath just to smoke it out. Oh! Oh my god, don't you guys hate when that happens when you're adding your bottom lash and it just the thing just touches your face and messes up your whole makeup? But I just fixed that real quick. Then I'm gonna go into this other palette from Juvia's Place. This is one of their blush palettes. I think this is the volume two blush palette. Absolutely love this palette, and I just use that orange shade to add some blush to my face. Then I'm gonna go into my favorite um highlighter palette of all time this is my nicole guerrero times anastasia highlighter palette oh my god you guys this combination of glow getter and 143 tell me that this highlighter combination is not giving me life like i absolutely love it like oh my god I'm just going to add it all over my face, a little bit to my forehead, not too much, because my forehead have a lot of texture, so when I put too much highlighter up there, it just like screams at everybody, but yeah, I'm just going to put that all over my face, and then, I don't know what the hell I was doing, I think I was singing, if something was going on, I was singing something, <laughs> oh my god, so back to the face. I'm going to use the same highlighter palette um, from Anastasia and I'm going to take that white shade and just pop that on my inner tear duct. Thank God I didn't have to put a base underneath that because that would have been so annoying. But yeah, isn't that white just pretty? It just open, open up my eyes and just adds so much more to the makeup look because y'all know I have shiny eyes. And then to set all of that into place, I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray. And you guys, this setting spray is life, okay? Life in a freaking bottle. Like, I recommend it so much. One, because of the price. And two, because you get 2.8 fluid ounce in that damn bottle. Like, it is going to last you for a long time. So, for my lips, I'm going to outline my lips using this lip pencil from MAC. And is it in the color Cherry? You guys, if you can invest in some MAC lip pencils, I highly recommend them because they're so pigmented. They're a little bit expensive, but very pigmented. So right here, I'm just showing you guys a bunch of different options of red lips that you can use for the holiday season. I really wanted the one from Fenty Beauty, but I didn't get my hands on it as yet. So I'm just showing you guys a bunch of options. I'm going to go ahead and link and list all of them down below. But I recently picked up this one from the drugstore and it's from Black Radiance. Um, I, I forgot what the name is called, but I'm going to be listing everything down below, you guys. So I'm just going to use that to um, cover over that lip pencil all over my lips. And if you guys are on a budget or you just want something fast, something that you don't have to order and something that won't break the bank, I highly recommend this lip color you guys like look how pretty that is like it's so pretty the only thing is that it's a lip cream so when you eat you are gonna need to reapply so yeah I love this stuff but if you're looking for something more matte and something that's gonna last longer um, in my head I really wanted to wear this Kylie um, liquid lipstick and this is in the color Mary Jo I think Mary Jo K is it Mary Jo or Mary Jo K I think it's Mary Jo K from Kylie and oh my god you guys I have a love hate relationship with my Kylie liquid lipsticks because the colors are so pretty so pigmented but on the other hand the liquid lipsticks they are so dry like they are the most driest liquid lipsticks that I've ever purchased in my life like the pigmentation is crazy as you guys can see it looks really pretty on the lips but yo it too damn dry okay so I kind of wanted to go in a little bit more on my highlights so I decided to use the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter to add on top of my highlight I didn't put a lot I just put a little bit so yeah that's what I did there and then look at my lips you guys like y'all see how dry that looked like I had to change it so I'm just going back in with this um, 
red lip gloss from MAC and this is an old lip gloss um, I forgot the shade but like I said I'm gonna list everything down below it's a um, it's a collaboration that they did with Rihanna like way back in the days and look how stunning that lip gloss looked like I cannot get over how pretty it is so yeah I don't think it's available anymore but that's what it looks like if you guys ever see it if it ever comes back in Mac make sure you pick it up because it is absolutely stunning so that's about it for this makeup tutorial you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys